Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Illoran Moonstone and Moyu London Aberesque 06. I've started off with Peel Ease as my base coat. And here is the Illoran Moonstone. This is another beautiful polish my friend Shannon sent me. Ah, oh, this one is gorgeous. So I've got my base coat on and dry and I'm going to go in with the first coat. The first coat's you know sheer and you know a little see-through but these polishes build up and you know to get all that layered yummy goodness out of them that's just how they work I'm keeping my free edge there she said when she saw this polish it reminded her of when I talked about if I owned my own or if I did a collaboration and had my own polish what I would be inspired by and this polish nailed it I mean, the purpley blue gray shade in the background is perfect. Perfect, perfect. So there's the second coat of that one. And now for an up close of the third coat. Ugh, luscious. And she knows I'm a flaky junkie. So this one was just a winner on so many levels. Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down so we can do some playing some stamping trying to make sure to get all of it covered because i want all three layers of that to dry down real well capping my free edge again there we go hi woody how you doing he's doing good look at him so there's that gorgeous Manny all on its own. I do have a swatch photo. There you go. And now for the stamping, I'll be using Moyu London Aberest Collection 06. It's another beautiful plate. I'll be using the Beauty Big Bang 02, the black stamping polish, and Beauty Big Bang 01, the blue metallic polish. I got my Conad stamper and my BT scraper out. And I'm going to put this image on my thumb, middle, and ring fingernails. I'm going to stamp them first in black and then blue. A little bit of that double stamping going on. I probably could have gotten away with just doing the blue, but, you know, girl's playing, so she's playing hard. What a neat image. I am cleaning that stamper off on my lint roller. And the plate's getting cleaned with pure acetone. Not just acetone nail polish, but pure acetone. And now I'm going to go in with that blue and do the stamping on it. Pick up, line it up, and smish it down. There we go. Yay! Kind of digging it. Alrighty, here we go. We're going in with the black again. It's a nice scrape and kind of roll to pick up. And then I'm going to plop that one on. My ring nail. And then we're going to do the same with the blue again. Got to clean this plate off real quick. Black stamp and polish is some messy business. <laughs> so here we go with that beautiful blue. I'm just gonna lay that over top of the previously stamped in black image. There we go. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup here with the piece of tape. I did put some Burt's Bees on, but you know, it doesn't get everything all the time, but it did stop a lot of it from going on to begin with. And now for my acetone and my little cleanup brush, go around the edges, get as much of that mess up as I can. And I really did like this. I thought it was pretty cool. Check it underneath. So there we go. I'm going to top it with the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. Love, love this stuff. <laughs> it's so cool. 
And now that that is completely dry, I'm going to top it with my posh top coat. Y'all see that pinky nail over there glowing? Oh, I'm going to put a nice thick glossy top coat on top of this. Seal it all in, capping that free edge. So I really did like this one. Oh, I got a fuzzy. I had to get the fuzzy off. Now I got to go back over it. Oh, don't you hate it when you get the fuzzies? So there we go. So here is the polish in motion. And then I'll have a swatch photo coming up here real soon. I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment down below. As always, I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.